Hey everybody, it is Captain Bryn here with the Hexagolet, which is so fun. It I don't remember it costing one ticket like last time I haven't gone back and watched my own video. But last time I ran a market archer with like Relentless Raiders, Firebrands, Market, Spoils, and that might have been it. Well, that puts that that puts you at 24 cards. I think I had a fifth card. I don't remember what the fifth card was. But today, I'm going to run that one of the runs just because it's so fun. But and I want to run Ultimate Highest and Bandar Opportunist. But I wanted to make a banishing deck, which I believe on the Irish Rose Legends stream, the f first time that this happened, CVH had a banishing deck. I tried to go find that stream so I could copy his deck, but I couldn't, so I just made up my own. Oh, um, I went with Guild Sworn Apprentice and 45 cards, just because we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different types, so we're still are like 45. You're going to be seeing one of each of these. The Diving Scamp, I don't know if you need six, but it shuts down market market just gets screwed over with this and they don't have a lot of good ways to kill it especially in hexagon you're probably not running that much removal and so even if you do i probably have another bedeviling scamp so and if it doesn't really harm us like having these three cards change to or no it doesn't it only changes apprentice and harpies and ambusher ambusher if we get in a bind and say we can get a whole hand of these and our opponent fills their lane, like this is going to be insane. So I kind of want one more, but oh, yeah, we're, we're going to go with five. I might change it. Uh, the deck code, whatever it will be, will be the update one, but let's get into it. Uh, let's start playing. So another thing, I have an update. Uh, I've been using this mug for some time and nobody has directly pointed it out. I've been pointing out, I've recently been pointing it out on Twitter and my stream and such, but uh, I'm a first time dad. So like the baby's coming probably soon. Uh, and I just want to warn everybody that I'm probably not going to be uploading every week. Uh, and I'm not going to once baby show, I will upload eventually, but I'm not going to always upload. Ooh, we're not going against market. Let's go with this hand. I don't think Badabwing Scam will be too much help against uh, Battle Mage, but maybe they'll run the same kind of thing we are. We want to banish everything they possibly have. That is our goal. So they have 30 cards. All we gotta do is banish it. And they most likely only have five or six kinds. So like five Piercing Twilights shuts that down. Um, there's so many ways that they can just get screwed over. And so, yeah, we, we're going to have fun with this. Uh, we're going to Piercing, Piercing Twilight, this Greystone Ravager, after we kill it. Like, this is going to be so good. Actually, we're going to be Piercing Twilight that, but that is even better. So, uh, I'm glad I didn't actually play that. That was really bad. Um... So yeah, our goal is just banish their entire deck, so that should banish six. Well, it hasn't updated yet. <laughs> There's three, four, <laughs> four of them. So we only got four. They are probably holding the other two. And they know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> so what I was trying to say, um, I, my kid will be coming soon. So, um, uh, that is going to change basically everything um and so i will my recording schedule is going to be so limited <laughs> uh, or it's going to be very limited but holy shoot they're at 17 now and we do have a guard up like we i mean maybe they can get through so we've seen three of their kinds of cards there's the fourth so everything they're running is prophecy so it's Prophecy Battle Mage is what they are running. And yeah. We have Golden Initiate. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to run this. <laughs> we have a ton of Prophecies to kind of help counter it. Oh, uh, We have so many good ways to counter them. This is just 
freaking amazing. Yes. <laughs> like, I am guessing that we can just keep going. This is going to be so fun. But recording and my YouTube schedule is going to be, uh, be very, very rare. And basically when I can. Oh, uh, so... I'm sorry, but I have to take care of a kid, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, first time parent, going to need all my attention. Gaming, recording will be on the very back burner. That is also why I was pushing for top 100 last month, because I knew that there was a chance that March would get super busy. And it already has gone very busy, so... Uh, yeah, that was, that was the reason why I was pushing in February and not any other time. Uh, no, that's a, that's not a bad, but we are going against our Market Archer. We need our Bediling Scamp. And we haven't drawn it yet. So, they... Well, maybe not Market Archer, but they do have the opportunist. So, there's one thing, and all we got to do is kill one of it. There is the Bediling Scamp. So, we're going to hold on to this, at least for a little bit. We might get gold initiate to kind of gain some health, but we know they are running ultimate heist. Um, they're running giant bat. That's very interesting. That is super interesting. Well, we don't particularly care about their health, so we're going to shackle the opportunist, stop the bat. Uh, next turn is piercing twilight. Hopefully, we can kill this opportunist so we can banish. All of their opportunities, but we didn't. Um, I have no idea what this is, but let's let's get rid of their Nord Firebrands. That that seems like a, we have enough Piercing Twilights. Hopefully, they're not holding two of them. But hey, <laughs> so yeah, the goal is just survive and banish. I think we hit all six. We hit all six. Yeah, yeah, we hit all six. Okay, there we go. They're down to 20. <laughs> There's giant bats out of the way. It doesn't matter how much their health is, and I think they know that we need to kill their opportunists. And they have cliff racers. Yeah, let's... Sorry, your cliff racers, no. <laughs> let's get rid of all those cliff racers now. I think that's a pretty good idea. We will get rid of the opportunists eventually, but we need to kind of take care of the bigger threats. And maybe they have more than six cards. Which, if they do, that harms us. Or six copies per card. So we got... We did get all six Cliff Racers. They are down to 15. And they have Rapid Shots. So they at least have five different cards. And they should have Ultimate Heist if they don't. If they don't have Ultimate Heist, we... Well, we're not safe, but, uh, okay, what do we do? They have 14. Hmm. I'm thinking we do scamp. We need to save this period of twilight for this. You know what? Let's play Golden Initiate down in the sh in the field lane because they don't have their Cliff Racers. They do have giant bats to kill the Golden Initiate, and I would guess that they would want to kill the Golden Initiate. Ooh, he's got a variety. Okay, so he has more than just. I mean, now I can kill your opportunists. And banish your all of those opportunists that you so like. <laughs> oh, this is mean. This is so mean. Oh, that is great. That is so great. That's even better. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, he had so many of them. I don't even think. Ooh, there's all the opportunists. He only had three base copies. So I'm guessing... Wow. Wow. And he left the guard up. 
Okay. Well, he's only got six cards. So, uh... Now, uh, they have zero. So all they have are these guys. So, uh... <laughs> Here we go! They can't win! Their only hope is to not attack. They had to hit face. Like, what were they doing? They... That's their only hope, is to hit face and stop all of this business. So let's... I mean, we can bust all the rune. I mean, if we bust a rune, it hurts them even more. And we could banish even more cards, but we don't need to. So let's just shackle and we will kill a creature. And now there's really no way that they can win because they are down to basically two more runes. The first and then their health. And they only have one creature. And we're going to pop this last one. Yep, hey, you can't do anything. Sorry. Boom. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. So we had fun with the market, and now that people have found a great way to counter the markets, we are going to play that counter market deck. <laughs> Give it, granted that we haven't faced a market yet, but uh, we're doing pretty good so far. I don't know if I'm going to record this whole first run, I want to, I just don't know if I have time. Oh, uh, but we are going to try our best. Oh. So yeah, Skyrim has already been sidelined because of all the baby preps that I've needed. And Skyrim's hard to record, and it's more editing, whereas this is, this and World of Myths are super easy to edit. Sometimes I don't even edit at all. Which isn't great, but you know what? I'm not uh, having that successful. Ooh. So they have more than 45. Right? They have 47 cards. So this is going to be a bit harder. Because I'm guessing with 47 that they have a variety. What? What? What are we seeing? What are we seeing? Hey, Doss. What are we seeing? Um. What are we seeing? I'm thinking we're going to be setting up an ambusher turn. Or an ambusher win with this. Because I'm guessing with a bunch of one drops and one power creatures. What are we going after? What is this? I don't know. This is kind of has me confused. But we are. Uh, I mean, we can kill this. I don't really need to. We'll kill that because that's more of the threat. We do need to board control. This, that confirms it. They are unrelenting siege. Slash. Old Mary spell, right? Uh, awesomeness. So, we don't need to hit face. So, let's just Piercing Twilight. Get rid of those Prowlers. And we're not going to go face. Uh, because we want to save our face damage for when we can beef up Soul Shred. Which is also kind of why we only have four copies of Soul Shred. Is because that's not your primary way of winning. Your primary winning is your Piercing Twilight, this if you haven't already seen it. Um, so they do have six. They are down to 36. <laughs> What's an interesting deck I have? Yes, Doth. This is very interesting. So... I'm thinking, let, let's go ahead and Soul Shred. We get to banish 12 cards. They are down to 27. We got half their deck. <laughs> One interesting deck. Uh, I'll reply to him in a second. We need to focus on this because this is about to get out of control. Um...
Yeah, let's... We'll play it down. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe we should have held it. But he killed his own fence. That's interesting. I guess... It, I mean, I've shut down that fence. Because that fence I've just shut down. It's amazing how bad I've shut that down. So, can I get rid of these opportunists? And our shadow shifts. Ooh. Did you just let me? <laughs> that, I feel like that was a bad move, bro. That was a bad move. So we're going here to stop the six damage. And get rid of all those opportunists. Just get out of here. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. I'll reply to Doth. Hexagallet Destroyer. And see, thank you for getting rid of your own fence. And yeah, you have Unicorn, but... I don't know. Well, you already had charge with that. And you have all that Magicka. But it doesn't really do anything. Other than I need to really stop all of this business. So let's shackle... Let's shackle you. And then... We could, I mean, we don't need to play an ambusher. These ambushers are just going to get played for free. Because I'm, with the unicorn having a lane effect, they're going to probably play this one card in that lane. And as long as we can stop, they did ultimate heist anyway. So they stole a non-prophecy card, which means they either got soul shred, which is super, super bad. Or they got Bediveling Scamp. Well, I guess they could have also got Piercing Twilight. They have 22 cards. What do we think they have left? Let's get rid of those Ultimate Heists. How about those Ultimate Heists are going to be the bane of our existence. <laughs> Get out of here and just bye. <laughs> oh yes. And you know what? Let's let's just We don't need to ever play our ambushers. I I think that when I played an ambusher as a prophecy that was a misplay. But uh please fill this lane. Please fill the lane. Darn you. <laughs> Darn you. So let's kill you, and we're gonna kill you, we will guard up this lane, and there is, and you know what, let's just, we're going to keep our Bediveling Scamps to really shut them down. I wish they like stacked. <laughs> this costs three, this costs three more, which makes it six, this costs nine. <laughs> All cards cost three more. Okay, um, so we are mostly good, because the ultimate heists are all out. Let's play, let's split lanes with the saints, and, or the initiates, and I think we can afford to not guard up, because their opportunists are out, they do have Torvald Cooks. Shadow shifts. So maybe we play an ambusher. Because they ain't going to be filling up a lane. Now that I think about it, they're not going to fill up a lane. So I think let's just go ahead and play all of them. And we have a full board and we're ready to hit face. Torvald Cook, fine. Because their hope is to go face. And I believe they have no prophecies. So we really could have used, uh, let's heal up. Do we have enough? Three, six, nine, fifteen. We don't have enough. Well, no, that was fourteen. Oh, we do have enough. 
Okay, let's try it. Let's try going face and face. And boom, and boom, and boom, and we win. So, that one took a bit longer, but we still won, so. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. So, we'll, we'll go another 10 minutes. Woohoo, we got that. And yes, you may notice why, or ask why I'm low on gold. Oh, that is because, look, I'm at 100% of the core. I did pull the uh, Betrayer in a Moons of Elsewhere pack. So I now have 100% of that. We are 100% Jaws and Alliance War, Isle of Madness, and House of Morrowind. So now we just have Clockwork City to re collect everything i think we have alduin and one other legendary for skyrim and then we have to redo dark brotherhood as well because i believe it's just shadow mirror i think it's just shadow mirror out of the dark brotherhood that i don't have so all of any soldiers i'm going to get are going to be for that there's still i don't have three copies of everything oh uh, so there's a couple cards in moons of elsewhere and house of marwin that i need three copies of and I think also Skyrim and Core, but they're not cards I really need. It's just a matter of actually wanting that. Uh, so, yeah, I have the Diving Scam for a market. Yep. We don't want Soul Shred. This is a mage with 47 cards. What was 47? <laughs> um, they are probably anti piercing Twilight. And the downside is we could get banished ourselves. So that's the risk that you're going to be playing with Hexagon. If you want, you could you could do Singleton. You have a minimum of like you're kinda doing the market or you the micro gauntlet because you have 30 cards, but I don't know if it's exactly worth it. And yeah, ringing that out may not have been good. Oh shoot. Really? Really? This is like the worst gauntlet you could do this in. <laughs> this is the worst one. This is the. Uh, like, well, okay, maybe not the worst one. But. Because Singleton would be the worst one for Invade. Um. That's fine, because now I'm going Piercing Twilight. I'm going Piercing Twilight. I think that damaged one. We're going to Piercing Twilight something. We're going to go over here. No, let's... Let's Piercing Twilight the creatures, because Invade will lose without creatures. So... Their actions, yes, it buffs their Invade, but... How many do we get? We got five. So they have one more Invasion Vanguard. So, let's, I need to remember not to banish that anymore. Sigil, Sigil Keeper is, is going to be to annoying. But hey, it's fine too. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Um, no, let's save that. <laughs> we will go and line bolt this just so we have a play. Uh, Sigil Keeper will need to have something to kill it, but we need to get rid of all as many of their creatures as possible. We still have 40 cards. Ooh, they're piercing Twilight. What'd you piercing Twilight? Darn you, you piercing twilight, my own piercing twilight. You suck. Okay, I'm glad we did not play this other piercing twilight. Because now we... Oh, you th wow, you're cocky. You think that I'm done? I am not done, bro. I have ways to stop you, so... <laughs> uh, you said good game way too early, because now I will banish your own piercing twilights. Or your invasion parties. One of those two we need to do, we need to get rid of. Let's get rid of the invasion parties. 
Well. Okay, this is a tough call. Because invasion parties are a pain, but your gate is only as good as your creatures. So let's try to get rid of as many creatures as possible. That's pretty much the goal. Get as red. And he probably was glad that I... I mean, I don't know. We did get rid of all six piercing twilights. He does have that invade. But he's running out of creatures. Like, I feel like... That's part of the problem is they don't have creatures. But he, he did have 47. So he probably has a variety of creatures. But him piercing twilight, our own piercing twilight, was annoying. Oh, that one summons creatures too. Darn it. Yikes. Okay. What do we have? We're running out of stuff. Running out of options. We are really running out of options. So I think we're going to lose this one. We don't have enough for Soul Shred. So let's just play Bedivin and Scamp. And stop some damage. Um, yeah, we're, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Him piercing Twilights, our own piercing Twilights. Does suck. Okay, that's not bad. Finding your harpy is also good. Um, let's just play Soul Shred. It's not great, but at least gets rid of four cards. Really not great, but hey, the more cards we get rid of, the better. If all he has is actions, which he does have unexpected arrival. And Mage's Trick. Okay then. But unexpected arrival is going to harm us more than anything. So, what in the world do we do? Does have regenerate? Does not have regenerate. I don't know what we do. That's not gonna be worth it. We don't do I mean, I don't know. This is we could banish six cards, but it's still not worth doing that. Play two of these. We'll try, but again, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I think we're dead. If they have lightning bolts, they can nail us down. I mean, if they have one more lightning bolt, we're still dead. Yep, good game. So he did say good game early, and he did pay off, he did win, but I still don't like you saying good game early, because it's never nice. But you did predict accurately. I just don't think the game was lost up until that point. So, shutting down invade, maybe I need a different card. The ambushers we really haven't utilized yet. The ambushers are just really... They're very defensive. And a great finisher if you can play an entire board of them. But maybe they're just taking up space. I don't know. <laughs> we will keep this hand. Because that's a pretty good starting hand. We will need our piercing twilights. <laughs> like, here, let's just start the conversation over. There's not that many cards to talk about, so let's just get right on to it. The piercing twilight, my own piercing twilight, is annoying. 
There's the market. We knew the market was near. So, should we go ahead and shut it down? Yeah, let's go ahead and shut it down. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. That that's what I have no fear of That's what he does. <laughs> yep, like you're kinda screwed. Um We're just gonna sit. We're just gonna sit. <laughs> Sorry, markets. Your swindler's market is totally shut down with Bedivine Scamp. We do have Guildsworn Apprentice to guard it back up. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Let's play two of them. <laughs> Because they don't have good ways of getting rid of it. Um, I kind of want, we need to, we do have six now, so let's play an apprentice to guard that up, and we can play another, uh, let's, we'll use a harpy to shackle it. Um, this way we have five cards to ramp this up to seven per attribute, which would be 14. There you go. Like, <laughs> we don't even need to play. We can just shut everything down. <laughs> so really, and, oh, uh, that was good. But I have a scam right on cue. Right on cue. Right on cue. One more. One more. I mean, I'm going to keep playing the Gauntlet. I'm probably going to... I will try to do all three runs because I was really upset that I didn't get to do last week's Grand Melee. But I did finish number 133. I don't know if you saw on Twitter, but that's where I finished. Uh, so, I've I've played around with Sky Shard. Sky Shard's weird. But Crusader. What now? Yeah, we'll keep this. Apprentices are great guards. Early on, we don't need piercing. Like, really, you don't need any other card other than these right off. So we're going to go ahead and try to take the field lane over with that. Are going? We're going to probably follow it up with gold initiates. Especially with that. And we don't need to hit, so let's just keep playing this. Are we scamps will come into play? Maybe. We'll see. How many cards do they have? They do have 30, exactly. So if we can piercing Twilight every single card that they own, that's super amazing. <laughs> so if you don't even need all six, you just need probably three. And then your soul shreds can do the rest of the work. But, uh, ooh, he's silencing me, and you're going to kill it? Wow, okay, kill. Well, I know you hate gold initiates, so, uh, Speak, do it again. <laughs> we know he's got both Bone Bow and uh, Rehod Horseman down. There's another one. There's another one. Well, see, like banishing those, it may not even be worth it. So let's play you. And we will drain up. I, I thought about just hitting with those two and hit it using Soul Shred, but I think it's fine if we don't do that. We need our Piercing Twilight. That's what we need. But in a 45 card deck, they... And there's only six. They could be yeah, at the very bottom six. Ooh, man, man. You're getting landing bolted. Yeah, you're gonna die. You're dead. 
we're gonna pass we're gonna let him break our first rune I don't want to break a rune for him uh, nice Nice. Pop a couple of runes. Fortunately, you give me one prophecy, maybe two prophecies. No. But there is a piercing twilight. So now we can piercing twilight. Um. I don't know what we would piercing twilight. I don't know if we need to get rid of the horseman. Let's do bone bow. I'm thinking a bone bow. Because Mad Men we can kill fairly easily. Uh, and then we will shackle this and we will not give him a card. Piercing Twilight got rid of four bone bows. So they might have more. But I don't think this ha this is a six or five card deck as in five cards six copies of each okay we got rid of every single bone bow wow so the diving scams are not going to be worth it but they only have 17 we can get this up to six of so 12 and they will draw one card So let's see what we can do. So we can do that. Let's nitpick him. They're down to six. And we will go there. We'll save our diving scams because again, we at this point we don't need them. One more uh, soul tear, soul shred, and we they will be out of cards. So then it's just a matter of survival. Madman is not good at the time, but they do have full light now, so any ambusher we get is just coming on board. And they have five cards, so this would banish. Ooh, hey, let's just, let's do that. Because we can do here. So this banishes three per attribute. So we can go and play that. They are now out of cards. So we can afford to break all of their runes. So now it's just... Really? Uh, sitting and waiting. Because I don't think he can deal 24 damage with what he has. And he only has one more card. <laughs> this is like so mean. Does anybody else feel bad? I don't feel bad. <laughs> When you're having all this fun, like it's, I don't think you should feel bad for playing the Hexagauntlet, in it, no matter what you're playing. Like, this really doesn't amount to any skill, any RNG, like it's just, have fun. That's really all you need is just have fun. Yeah, we don't need to play you because I can, you're getting played for free anyway. And we. <laughs> Yeah, we win. Good game, buddy. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, no, we gotta do one more. One more for the video. This is just so fun. All right, we have five wins. We've played six games in 40 minutes. It's almost the uh, same ratio of cards per copy. In, in these kinds of decks. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Okay. A sin Man, I'm not using that. <laughs> Sorry. Neon green sleeves. Also, who sent me? I had, it said I had six messages. I don't know who else. That was weird. Um. 
We don't need you ambushers. If it's red, I think we do keep these two cards. Beards and Twilight's fine, but mono red. Mono red. Very interesting. Or maybe it's bedeviling, and I've just been saying it wrong, not bedeviling, because there's, as I typed that, I was like, I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry, guys. If you've already left a comment, it's fine. I mispronounce things frequently. Oh, please keep those firebrands. Darn it. <laughs> okay, you have a bunch of firebrands. We'll go the bedeviling, bedeviling scamp. Bedeviling? Bedeviling? File? I don't know. The scamp. The dangerous scamp. Ooh, Bone Bow. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that one bit. So see, maybe, well, I guess we can get rid of Raiding Party. We'll get rid of Raiding Party. Because... Probably has a bunch of them. Maybe. There's two, three. And he only had three. So either he's got the rest or uh, there's more. But it's mono red. I did not check how many copies of cards he has. Ooh, we have to get rid of that captain. That captain cannot exist. Well, we have five. What do we play here? Cause it's almost like we need to guard up, which makes me want to play this. Let's let's do that. And what else do we get? We get another apprentice, so we can play another guard. I kind of like that. We'll guard up. And hopefully we can kill the Lit and Piercing Twilight it down. And Ambusher is going to be pretty good. Ooh, he does silence one of them. But, yeah, it's like, I can kind of shut you down at least a little bit. So let's play you. And let's now, I'm thinking get rid of the Elite. Because we don't want him busting his own room. He only had one. So let's get rid of the captain. Because now we can piercing twilight with the captain. We do need something. So he had one a lit, which if only the empowering helped us, but it doesn't at this point. He's got another silence. Please be prophet. Yeah, like we need some stuff. <laughs> we need some lucky prophecies. And he does have that. Okay, Raider, you have to go. We can shut down this whole lane. This lane is shut. So you die, you die, and then I think we do the gamble play, we're piercing twilight, um, his captains, or maybe his silences, well his Hilala's sharpshooter sucks at the moment, so let's Get rid of the bone bows. And then we're gonna play initiate. His sharpshooter sucks because he needs plot and he's there's no way he can draw two cards. So if he draws a sharpshooter, he can't utilize the silence. There's only 
so much that but they do have a variety of cards I'm kind of impressed by the variety of cards that they have so let's the deviling scant doesn't really matter um I mean we can piercing twilight I don't think we really need to well we're gonna do it to guard at both lanes we'll piercing twilight let's get rid of the imps ah no let's get rid of the raiders no, the captains. I think the captains are much worse at this point, and then we'll play another initiate. Oh, uh, and maybe the captains is what he actually had more of. But uh, so far they've been proving me wrong. Like they've only had, I think, max of three copies. Yeah, good game. I mean, <laughs> there's not a whole lot he can do. Oh <laughs> uh, gosh, I gotta do one more. This is like addicting fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Neon Green Sleeves, you don't like Market? Well, I like it. And yeah, it's kind of annoying, but dude, this is just so fun. <laughs> oh, too, too fun. Too fun. Is it too fun? You can never have too much fun. Maybe you can. But then at that point, it stops being fun. All right. <laughs> Come on. Can we find a match? Is nobody playing the gauntlet right now? Come on. Find a match. Okay, maybe we're done. Maybe we are done. I don't really want to be done. I wanted one more. Although I did say one more, and that was the last one last time. So... But, uh, never mind, we're in a game. I'll hold that thought. Meh. Vampire Dragon, win a one. What does that say? And I know five-ish hours is a little late, but, um, hey, I'm not putting much guarantees on things, so, <laughs> yeah, five hours from now is a little far, but, um, oh, shoot, another invade, cool, so we need to be wary of his piercing twilights. Very weary of the piercing twilight. Wow, you're gonna trigger the ambusher right now. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. That worked out pretty well. Thank you. I didn't really want to play the ambusher right then, but it worked. <laughs> but. And also, like, I didn't want to play... Well, now, nah, I guess that's not going to stop them. I was like, I don't want them to know that I have the ambushers. Because then they won't fill the lane, but they just fill the lane, so... Whatever. <clears throat> um... Well, you're being down for free. Yeah, now what? We can cut the invasion scout. But again, like, do we... I don't... I don't know. I feel like that's a bad play. Solely because they have Piercing Twilights. I guess our... Part of the reason I've thrown in the field lane when I could be blocking everything. I mean, they have 19 cards. I don't know. Because there's three. And that one had six copies. There's a fourth. I'm guessing they only have five. Maybe six different types of cards. What did you expect? Thank you again. <laughs> well, this is just, it's too, that's too good. Oh, 
Helmet's Apprentice. And then I think we ring out Initiate. And then we're gonna wait. Lightning Bolt we need to use on this gate. It is level four, they are getting random keywords, which is not fun. And the gate just got a ward. So I don't think they have Piercing Twilight. Okay, their gate's at max. That gate. Wow, oh, this is so annoying. This is very annoying. Okay, we gotta play the apprentice. And we could do another initiate, but I don't really think we need to. Let's try to slow this crap down. Let's try. Oh, hey, did you see that gate flash when I played a Daedra? 14 cards. We can do this. We can stop this. Their gate, we don't necessarily have to destroy. We just have to get rid of all their creatures. Which, I mean, they still have. Still have a bunch of so. <laughs> Get rid of you. And let's get rid of creatures. The Dramora Adepts or Invasion Vanguard. Or other one drop mages. Let's get rid of the adepts. Fortunately, we don't have another play, but eh, that wasn't too successful. Yeah, I think they knew they knew what card we were needing to hit. I'm surprised they didn't hit the ward there, but. See, the Daedric Incursion, yes, it's bad, but, okay, that's not the best. Yikes, that's a big rally. Uh, yikes, 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 yikes. Ooh, what do we even hit? I don't even know what we hit at this point. <laughs> I really don't know what we even hit. Lightning bolts. Maybe we need to get rid of. Speak, citizen. I need a Dawn's Wrath right now. I don't know why the timers flaring up but let's at least play the guard and we will play initiate over here this time around but okay I think I've been misplaying how to beat invade but I'm not too sure where maybe the vanguard maybe that was our misplay they have eight the downside is Well, checks. Because they have one right there, unless we draw a guard! And that doesn't have breakthrough. Ha! Very close. The downside is, I don't think we can do anything about this. I have eight cards. We can banish it all, but it's not going to be worth it because we have to survive. And I don't think we can survive. Well, it's been fun. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we're... We needed our harpies is what we needed. 
but I think, yeah, we've, we've lost. There's not a whole lot we can do, so, good game. We should have quit with, while we were ahead, but it's fine. Come on, finish me off. No, 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 you don't get to have, you don't get more fun. You had your fun. I mean, a level 15 gate, and I don't have any executes. So maybe you could think about adding that, but... Anywho, there is the video. Good luck in the hexagonlet. If I see you on the ladder, I am sorry. Uh, we have six wins. We aren't getting too much, but I do want the nine wins. So, good luck to you all. I will have the video up ASAP, DOS, and have fun. This, just have fun. This is a stupid gauntlet to have fun in. So, that is the important thing. Just have fun. If you're not enjoying what you're playing, try something else so or don't play it <laughs> but um i don't know when i will see you guys next but i will hopefully see all you guys soon i'll maybe see you on the ladder i'll at least be logging in daily to collect my rewards i'm probably not gonna be climbing i'll just stay i mean i'll hit the lady stone so i don't fall below warrior but that's probably as far as high as high as i'm gonna climb unless something weird happens but Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.